Labour may have previously promised not to increase taxes on working people, but the Chancellor admitted this morning that her budget will still hit people in their pockets. Wage rises look set to be held back, as businesses worry about covering the cost of high national insurance payments. And experts and opponents fear that could even lead to job losses. Rachel Reeves herself acknowledged the impact of her historic budget, saying she hopes never to have to repeat the £40 billion tax rises that she unveiled. But economists warn that more damage could still be to come with years likely to pass before any of us feel better off with the reaction. Here's our political reporter, Jasmine Cameron Chileshi. After their first budget, now the task of selling it to the country. Heading to Coventry today, the PM and his Chancellor promised improved public services but faced questions over the impact of higher taxes on businesses and living standards. We have done the responsible thing with this budget and we've taken key decisions, made key choices. We've chosen to protect working people and therefore for working people, no increase in their income tax, in their national insurance, their VAT, that's what we promised before the election. Earlier today, the Chancellor received a warm welcome at this London hospital. Huge congratulations on the budget and you in this role delivering this as the first woman. <laughs> but she acknowledged increasing employers' national insurance could stifle wage growth. Do you admit that this increase on employers could hit workers' pay directly? And do you see that as a reasonable price to pay for stabilising public finances? I think it, it is. Um, uh, it was a difficult decision, the hardest decision in the budget yesterday was on national insurance. So you admit that this increase could hit workers' pay? I absolutely accept that uh, wage growth uh, may be uh, weaker than it otherwise would have been. She said there would never be a repeat of yesterday's budget. Do you see yesterday as a kind of one-off emergency budget or can you foresee yourself potentially coming back to the public once more? I wanted yesterday to get everything out into the open and be uh, transparent about the decisions that I needed uh, to make. I'm not going to be coming back with a budget like this in the future. Yet, experts warn, pressures on businesses will be felt by workers and consumers. A lot of the tax raises we've seen are um, focused on employer and national insurance. Um, and that does have knock-on effects on the economy. We'd expect that to feed through into to lower wages and eventually onto people's pay packets, even if it's not a direct tax they see on their pay slips. And in West London today, a mixed response. A big worry was that with a massive hole in the budget, are we looking at return to austerity? And um, the fact that that's not happened is a massive positive thing. I mean, I'll never vote Tory in my life, but I won't vote Labour now. <laughs> not now, not after this. The PM and his Chancellor say their budget will improve economic growth, but the public will be watching to see if these aspirations will become a reality. Jasmine Cameron-Chaleshi, ITV News, Westminster.